Have y'all ever been in a Popeyes? I know that was a kind of crazy question, but if you are of black descent at some point in your life, you either know someone that's went to or you've went to a Popeyes. I mean shit, Popeyes so popular, even the white homies be going there. It's just a food chain that sells very good fried chicken. You know, your boy Sin, he like Popeyes. I prefer my chicken spicy, but you know, everybody different. The only thing that I can say about Popeyes that need a little bit of help is that god dang biscuit. I'm not gonna lie, that's a crime against humanity. You eat that biscuit without a beverage, that is like committing suicide. Somebody gonna say that you needed a hand or baker letter. There ain't no way that you put that in your mouth with no jelly, no goddamn bev. You out here eating dry Popeyes biscuits? I don't trust you. I ain't gonna lie, when Future had that god dang Metro tag, if Metro don't trust you, I'ma shoot you. That was me, but about dry ass biscuits, because there ain't no way that you're a human being consuming that. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. What we are here to talk about today is a time in which your boy Sin got in a scrap in Popeyes. You see, Popeyes is like the chain version of Waffle House. When you go to Waffle House, you're probably gonna fight somebody, especially if you're, you know, black and of age. Everybody in there is ignorant. I don't know what it is about Waffle House, but it's ignorant. People there, the workers are ignorant. I honestly don't understand it. Maybe it's because we all go there super late and they're tired and they wanna go home and then the people that are there are super drunk and just left the club, so they're under the influence. That's the only conclusion that I can come to. But when it comes to Popeyes, there's no explanation for it. There's just mad ghetto people in Popeyes, especially if you got a Popeyes that's in the hood. How many times am I gonna say Popeyes? That's crazy. But if you got a Popeyes that's in a, you know, ghetto area, <laughs> good luck, bro. Cause if you don't got the hands, you shouldn't even be eating there. Popeyes that are in the hood, you're not even safe to go through the drive-through. You might go and try to order something and somebody will pop up behind the menu and rob you. That's the type of environment that Popeyes has. And I knew this, but I really, really wanted chicken this day. So me and my brother decided to get in the car and we went over to Popeye's. And I'm not gonna lie, bro. I really, really like chicken. It's probably my favorite meat, pause on that. I mean, salmon is also up there. Question, do y'all say salmon or salmon? Everybody's different, but let me know in the comments below because I really need to know. But how are y'all gonna tell me in the comments and it's spelled the same? <sighs> All right, I, if you say salmon, spell it correctly, right? If you say salmon, I want you to put two L's. That's how I know that you're saying salmon, all right? That's the only way that I can think of. I'm getting off track here. So we go to Popeye's, bro. We in the car like this. Yo, bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I have been feeding Popeye's all week, bro. We've been in the gym going crazy, getting these goddamn gains. <laughs> and today, I'm about to gain some chicken. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm about to eat about a 12 piece with three biscuits, two large size. Bro, can you calm down, son? You about to eat a 12 piece? Lil bro, why, why do you sound like Pee Wee? Man, I don't know, you know Sin only got like four voices he be alternating. In. But hey, anyways, that's besides the point. I ain't gonna lie, yo. Bro, your boy Vor, he needs some more of that Popeyes. You feel me? Cause my stomach gonna eat right now. Nah, that's a fact, bro. I ain't gonna lie, we ain't ate all day. It's like, damn, it's like 6 p.m., bro. I mean, we did wake up at 4 p.m., so it ain't like we have been awake that long, but that's kind of tragic. We get up at 4 p.m., the first meal of the day is Popeyes? Bro, that's some fat ass shit, I ain't gonna lie. So we pull up to Popeyes, bro, and my brother's like, yo, Sin, let's just go in, yo. The line mad long, like, we might as well just go in. It'll probably be faster. Bro, I don't even think it's gonna be faster, though. I mean, if we go in there, they still gotta cater to the people on the line. And then on top of that, the food might get done, like, a lot less fast, because they're using a lot for the people on the line, bro. Like, man, fuck that shit, man. I do this all the time, bro. Let's just go in. Bro, you don't even have a license. What do you mean you do? So we go into this Popeyes, bro, and it's like, you know, typical shit. I walk in. The floor is dirty, there's crumbs on the tables. It's just a nasty Popeyes, bro, but the food's good, so I'ma eat it. I ain't gonna lie, bro. This one time, I saw this woman, she brought her Popeyes back, and it had roaches in it. And she told them that there were roaches in it when she left. And I'm just like, bro, what? Ain't no way that they gave you Popeyes and that shit had that many roaches in it. If it had maybe one bug, I could have bought that. But this shit was infested. Those came from your house, I'm not gonna lie. I looked in that Popeyes box, and those roaches had house slippers on, bro. They definitely was at your crib. But I mean, that's besides the point. She turned the Popeyes in and that's when I knew like, oh yeah, we got the hood spot. This is the hood Popeyes. So we standing in line. I tell my brother, I'm about to go to the bathroom real quick. Now I go handle my business. And in the midst of me handling my business in the bathroom, I hear some like talking outside. I hear my brother voice and I'm like, hold on, who the fuck talking to my brother? So I leave, I come back out. My brother's talking to this dude. I approach. I'm like, hold on, what's going on? Yo, yo, what's good? Everything cool? Man, this dude cut in front of me, bro. Talk him out. Yo, you left the line, so like he, he getting in line in front of me. Like, you ain't telling him you was holding the line? I did, man. He was just like, fuck it, and just got in front of me and then placed his order anyway. Oh, so this motherfucker. Man, hold on, bro. Hey, hey, yo, hey, yo. That was good. Man, you cut in front of my brother, bro? I mean, you got out of line, so I 
I got in your spot. Oh, you ain't seen my brother standing here holding my spot, bro. I just told him I was using the bathroom, and I'm pretty sure you was behind it, so you probably heard me. Hey yo, hey yo, stop, hey yo, stop fucking playing with me, bro. Why are you you being disrespectful? At this point, I'm tight. Not because he cut in front of me, y'all. I'm not that petty, but he was talking heavy to my brother. I don't like anybody talking to my brother. First off, if we out in public, my brother a grown man. I still don't want nobody talking to him. You gotta deal with me, bitch ass nigga. Don't talk to my brother. I'm saying it's cool, bro. It's cool. It's cool. Nah, nah, it's not cool, bro. It's not cool, bro. Cause why is he talking to you though? Why he even arguing with you? Like, and at the time, yo, I'm not gonna lie. My little brother wasn't even grown when we was in his Popeyes, bro. He was like 15, bro. So on top of him being my little brother, he's also a minor. I'm not going for that, bro. No fuck, nigga. I'm the tight nigga stand on business. One man army versus 50, nigga. I'm like, hey, yo, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You need to apologize to my brother, though, bro. He a little kid. You cutting in front of him, cussing at him. I ain't apologizing for shit, man. I'm gonna keep it real. The fuck? What you mean? No, you're not keeping it real. You're keeping it fake. You fuck it. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Yo, say sorry to my brother, dog. Real shit. Say, say sorry to my brother. Man, I, I ain't saying nothing. All right, so we got a problem then. At this point, bro, I had a straight nick moment. I'm not gonna lie. I lost my damn mind, bro. First thing I did, I threw my hands up. I walk outside. I'm like, so so come outside then. So come outside then. I'm trying to coerce this nigga to come outside and shit. I'm not gonna lie. I know I'm about to whoop this dude ass, bro. One, I'm tight. You don't got me out of character. Now I'm in here yelling at you in a Popeyes, bro. I'm mad as a bitch. So then this soft ass dude come outside bro finally and i'm not gonna lie bro i say this bro the motherfucker had heart he came outside and straight squared up with me it was no questions no if ands or buts it wasn't no talk it out no arguing none of that he came out pulled his pants up that's the universal sign that we're about to throw hands by the way everybody from the hood i mean i don't sag anymore because like i'm a grown-ass man but when i was in the hood bro i ain't gonna lie when i was younger younger 20s i was definitely sagging i'm gonna keep it a band if you pull your pants up to a nigga in the midst of an argument oh it's time to fight and he knew it you know what i'm saying he came out pulled his pants up i pulled mine up i backed up we squared up and i'm not gonna lie we scrapped in the fucking Popeye's parking lot. When I tell you I hit this nigga with the driest biscuits of his life, why well, I hit that Mickey, Mickey, Mickey? I'm not gonna lie. I definitely punished him out there pretty badly. To be fair though, I felt bad because it was a little guy. Like, he wasn't small, but he was littler than me. Like, you know, I'm over six foot. This dude is probably like five, seven, five, eight. We not small, but the real problem was his frame. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. He probably was like a maybe a buck 40, buck 50. Like maybe if he had a 16 ounce bottle of water in his hand, he might have been buck 51. But <laughs> my point is, bro, he was a little guy, bro. So I thumped him. I ain't gonna lie. I punished him out there. So after I beat bro up, I'm not gonna lie, it was mad funny. He stand up and he like, yo, I ain't gonna lie, bro. All right, you got it, bro. But yo, I ain't gonna lie though, bro. I ain't have to talk to your brother like that, gang. I ain't gonna lie. That was my fault, bro. Listen, man. Listen, man. Let me pay for your order, bro. Nah, nah, nah. You good, bro. You don't got to pay for my order, man. I ain't gonna lie. I just beat you up, bro. I, I, you good. That's what I should have said, bro. I've been a nice person, but I let that nigga pay for my food. I'm not gonna lie. At the time, I was a shisty dude. I was trying to get up at any chance possible, bro. I was YSL, bro. Free thug. I'm not gonna hold you. <laughs> so, bro got beat up and bought me Popeyes, bro. To apologize to my brother, bro. And he's a real nigga for that. You know what I'm saying? A real nigga that got beat up. But he's a real nigga nonetheless. Is my Popeye story.